Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture, we are continuing our project of building a simple NFT contract with Hardhat, Open Zeppelin, and a local blockchain. In this lecture, we are going to test our smart contract with Ethereum Waffle. So first things first, we have to install the packages into the project. So join me in the terminal or command line application in your project folder. We're going to use npm install and we are going to install hardhat waffle. This comes from Nomi Nomic Labs slash hardhat dash waffle. We also need Ethereum waffle. This is a testing framework for smart contracts. We're also going to need Chai, which is an assertion library. And we are going to write our tests in Waffle with Mocha and Chai. We also need hard hat ethers. So let's add Nomic Labs slash hard hat ethers. Ethers.js is a JavaScript SDK software development kit for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. So we need that one as well. Hard hat ethers ethers. Then you can hit enter and this statement is going to install all of these packages at once. So instead of installing them separately on different lines, you can just install them all on one line. Our next step is going to be to create a new folder to store all of our test files. So inside of our project folder, let's make a new folder called test. Then we'll enter test and we'll create a new file. You can do this manually or if you're on Windows, you can do it with the command notepad or Mac and Linux use the command touch. Then you have to follow your command with the name of the file that you want to create like test.js. Now let's go into our code editor and you'll see you have a test folder with test.js. Now inside of your hard hat dot configuration file dot config dot js you have to make sure that you add a requirement that you are going to require hard hat ethers that way we can use it in the project so here we have module exports where we're exporting the solidity language version but we can add more here to this file like requiring and we're going to require from nomic labs hard hat ethers and typically these require statements will go at the top the first line now let's learn how we can create a simple test using the packages that we just installed so inside of test.js is where we're going to write a simple test for our nft smart contract at the top i'm going to import from chai so that way we can use assertions in this file then i'm going to open up a describe statement the describe statement is creating a new group of test cases typically you're describing one contract and then you can have multiple describe functions for each of your different contracts that you have so here I'm going to describe my contract, which is the name of my NFT, and I will open up the body of a function inside of that describe statement. Inside of the describe group, you have test cases, which are created with the keyword it. You have one test case per functionality, and sometimes you even have one test case per line or per per possible action that can be taken. It depends on how you want to write the, the test case. Most commonly, you'll see one test case per functionality. Like, for example, if we want to test that our NFT actually returns or has the correct name or correct symbol, then we can make a test for that. So let's create one test case that says should return correct name. So we'll test the name of the contract instance. 
Then here I'm going to use an asynchronous function to get my result because it has to perform some action and we have to wait for the action to complete. So it has to be asynchronous. We're going to create a const to get our contract factory. So that will be with capital my contract. We'll await hre dot ethers dot get contract factory of our contract name, which is my contract. So here we're using something new. We are using h e h r e. There you go. And make sure it doesn't try to change it to something else. It's just h r e. It's not hex strip zeros or anything like that. This is a function that allows us to get the actual class for our contract, which is in my contract.solidity. Then we have to instantiate this contract by deploying it. So I'm going to make a const my contract deployed. And I'm going to await my contract, which is the const and call its deploy function. So once we have awaited that we've gotten the factory, we can then deploy it and then we have to await the result of the deployment because first it has to deploy, then we have to wait for that to finish before we can assign the value to the const. So what are we deploying here? We are going to deploy my contract and we have to send in some kind of name and some kind of symbol. So we can just call this my contract name and then we can pass in a symbol like MCN. These are just some sample values. You could put in anything here that you wanted for your name and for your symbol. Then we're going to await the my contract deployed dot deployed. So first we're deploying the contract then we have to await for it to be completely deployed. Then we can actually test out the contract. So we can use an expect statement. This allows you to expect some result and compare your expectations versus reality. So I'm going to await my contract deployed dot name. So I'm going to check the name of the deployed contract. We use await because we have to get that name and we're going to use two dot equal. This is just one example of an assertion. Here we're checking for equality. We're checking that the name equals some specific value, but you can check other things as well, like greater than, less than, or contains and more. You're not limited to just equal. We want to check that the name of the contract is equal to my contract name because that is what we passed in to the deploy function. So that is what we should have at the end. And that is what we're testing in this example. Now we can save the file and let's run the test. To run the test, I'm going to go into my terminal or command line app inside of my project folder anywhere you can call npx hard hat test. So it's the command hard hat test. This is going to execute any test files that you have. So in here we have my contract, which is our describe group. Remember we had a describe function where we sent in my contract because we're describing this contract. If we had other describe groups, we would have them listed here. Then we have this check mark followed by the name of our test case, which is should return correct name. And then we see the time it took in milliseconds and we get this result one passing 463 milliseconds. So this tells me our contract passed. There's also fail first testing where you actually first write your test and expect it to fail. That can be more of a secure testing feature because you have to take that extra step to then correct the failure. So for example, I would test here my contract name wrong. So if I have my test case like this, where I'm testing that my contract name is my contract name wrong, this is going to fail because my contract name is incorrect. And we can see that if we go to the terminal and we call npx hard hat test, this time we get this error message. We see that we have zero passing and one failing. We have my contract at this test case got an assertion error, expected my contract name to equal my contract name wrong. 
we have the expected versus the actual. The expected was my contract name wrong. The actual was my contract name. Then it tells you where it all happened, the stack of functions that ran to, for that to happen. So that's fail first testing where you expect it to fail. So then you have to go back and you have to fix it. And then you run it again so that it passes. And the point of fail first testing is so that you take that extra step just to make sure you wrote the test case correctly. Awesome. So this is how you can build out a simple smart contract test for an NFT. And you can build more complex tests as time goes on, as you add more functionality to your contract. One other thing we could add in here is to test the symbol of our NFT as well. So we can change this to should correct should return correct name and symbol, or we could build a separate test case for that. So you can either build a separate test case for that or just add another expect statement immediately. Typically, you want to keep these test cases small. You don't want to make them too big. So here we're going to check my contract deployed dot symbol. And the symbol should be MCN because that's what we sent to the deploy function. Now, if we do fail first testing, then I'm going to pass in a bunch of random values here. So I know that this test should fail. And if I call npx hard hat test, I'll see that, yep, it failed. Then I'm going to go back to the code and I'm going to fix it so that it passes. Then I'm going to run npx hard hat test again and it did pass. Awesome. So now you know how you can test out an NFT smart contract with hard hat. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.